1,000. I imagine everyone else is as excited about this as I am. 1,001 to be precise. Long time fans, the OG fans, will remember when I got to 100 subs and I went to Sporkle and I typed in the numbers 1 to 100 in under 60 seconds. What a time to be alive that was. And then when I got to 500 subs, I made an equation of the Ardru channel and predicted where all of my numbers would be in the future using my graph. Um, and then all of that went out the window because I deleted the channel and made a new one. But this new one has now reached a thousand, so I guess I need to celebrate that. So I thought I'd head over back over to Sporkle, since it's my favourite hangout place, and do Maths Continuous Test 3. The reason I'm doing number 3 is because a very, very young Mr. Drew did Maths Continuous Test 1 many years ago, apparently, according to the records, and then I practised on Maths Continuous Test 2 to sort of get the hang of it just now. And now I'm going to do number three. This is non-calculator, obviously. The questions are honestly pretty rough. They're pretty hard. You get four minutes. I, I recommend you play along at home because it is as much fun as it seems. This is going to be 99. Subtract four, seven squared is 49, so that's going to be 50. Add one cubed is one. Multiply by nine. You see, you see, they're making it hard already. Uh, divide by 27. Now this is nice. They just asked you to multiply by 9, which is 3 cubed. So if I just go back here and divide that by 3, I should get the answer. I'm such a legend. 12 multiplied by 8. Is that 96? Oh, yes. Subtract 64. So that's 36, 32. 32 is what I meant to type. I said it out loud. You heard me. Adds. Okay, I think that's 343. 3. 32 plus 343 3 is 375. Is... 3, 7, 5. Cool. Divide by 25. So let's do a bus stop. Divide by 5 to get uh, 7 with 2. 72. 75, sorry. Divide by 5 again to get 15. Yep. 3. I mean, we're right, we've used up a minute and we are... What is that? 441? Plus 3 is 444. Four, four. Cool. Divide by 4 is 111. Clearly. Multiply by 49. Okay. Um, multiply that by 49. How would you do that? Could you multiply... Oh, okay, 100 times 49 is 4900. Zero, zero. Then add 49. No, then add 490, which is 5390. Zero. Then add another 49, which is 5439. I'm going to be... Oh, I'm such a legend. Subtract... 3,600. Um, 1, 8, 3, 9? Yes, halfway. 22. I'm feeling 22. Gonna da, 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 da. Subtract 4 squared is going to be 8. No, it's not. Apparently it's going to be 6, whatever that number is. Multiply by 8. Multiply that by 81. 8 times 6 is 480. Add another 6 to get 486. Add 9 is going to be 4, 9, 5. Yes, divide by 9. Okay, quick bus stop. 5 with 4 left over 5 again. 5, 5, yep. I just can't type is my problem. Multiply by 1, 2, 1 is 2, 4, 2. Divide by root is 4, so that's 1, 2, 1 again. Add, uh, that's 1,600, right? So 1, 6. One two one? No. One seven two one. Can't do place value takeaway. What on earth is this? Okay, so nine hundred. Uh one eight one eight No. <laughs> what is this number? One thousand and eighty one. I think it is. One thousand and eighty one. So if I take away one thousand, I get this. Then add nineteen. And I think I get this. Okay, well, gonna have to rethink this a bit. I think I'm just gonna fail here because I can't. I clearly can't work out this. What this is? This is 900 plus th is nine is plus. So I need to add 180, which is 1080. And then oh, 1089. So take away a, add 11 at the end. So this and then add 11, which is this. Can I just not add? Hang on, what? That's 1,089, right? Confirm. It's 1,089. So I need to take away 1,100, which is this. Then add in... Oh, got there in the end. 16 seconds left, and I got there. 
divide by 7 is 7. Okay, you can do this now. You can do this. Add 36 is going to be 43. Multiply by 4 is going to be 1600 plus 12 is 16. Nope. Okay, give up. I think I got pretty close there. I think if I hadn't stalled as hard just face palming on this, I think I could have finished. And I would have been quite proud of myself. I mean, killing it, clearly. Absolutely, absolutely destroying it. I'm quite proud of that. I know I'm a maths YouTuber and everything, but I am genuinely quite terrible at maths. So to make it this far and be this much better than everyone else, I'm quite happy with that.